Well, hey there, folks. Tip here, Stupid Gardener. Compost Happens, Part 22, coming up. The Drunken Compost. Stay tuned. Started with 28 bags, and we are now down to 11 bags. So, well on our way to um, using up all these... Uh, bags of leaves and grass clippings. So we're gonna do a follow-up here on our compost bins, uh, the Fiskars, the Deformer, as well as our Vivosun uh, Tumbler. Um, it's been about two weeks on the um, Fiskars, as well as the um, Deformer. Uh, the Tumbler's been about a week. Uh, check the temperatures this morning, and they're doing about a little bit over 70 degrees. Our, uh, it's been very cold uh, down here the last couple of weeks, cold and rainy. Um, sun peaked up for a little bit today, first time in probably a couple of weeks. Um, so we got to get this temperature up on all these compost uh, bins and get them uh, working. Uh, my wooden bins in the back, the pallet ones, they're up over 100 degrees, but they need a charge too. So a good way that we can do this uh, during the winter months and um, get this compost bins get the heat up get some nitrogen in there is um, is what they call a drunken compost um, very easy to, to put together um, to mix it all together and everything and um, people usually just take um, one can of beer uh, a can of uh, soda as well as some ammonia and you mix it all together with a little bit of water and you pour that in and that will really add a boost of um, nitrogen. Now the way we're gonna do it, we really wanna get this going, so I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna do two cans of beer, uh, two cans of soda, and about a cup and a half of um, ammonia to get this going. Now in this beer, as most of you know, it's made from yeast, which is um, a great green uh, to put into your uh, compost. Now, uh, it's after the first of the year. A lot of people have um, their New Year's resolution. And if yours is to give up drinking beer or drinking soda, don't dump them down the drain. Dump them on your compost uh, because it's really going to boost up your uh, compost. Um, like I said, there's a lot of yeast in here, perfect for the compost that's full of protein and nitrogen. Um, and the soda, just regular cola or soda or tonic, whatever you call it in your uh, part of the country. Um, it's loaded with sugar and that will really help the um, compost and get the heat up. And this ammonia is just straight full of um, nitrogen. So it's a good mixture to put in there. I'm also going to um, put in a little bit of rainwater that I collected also. Rainwater is full of nitrogen. It's right from the sky. Um, it's not full of chlorine and different things that you'll get out of your uh, hose on the outside of your house and what you get inside the house. So uh, rainwater is perfect to uh, dump onto your uh, compost. And the way I'm going to do these, um, I'm just going to um, empty these composts and re-stack um, them, put the stuff that was on the top on the bottom, and I'll probably get about halfway, and I will um, mix everything in the this handy bucket here and I will dump it on there at the halfway point and then when I get at the top I'll make up some more and dump some more on there and really get this um, compost uh, going um, you know it's only been a couple of weeks and uh, for this to be around 70 degrees that's not too bad considering we've had a lot of cold weather a lot of frost and everything Sun hasn't really been hitting any of this so um, this would be the perfect time to do this and we just got to do our due diligence of making sure we're turning this every two weeks or 10 days or so and just really um, get it all mixed up and get those um, nitrogens and those carbons working together. Now, these 28 bags that I got, I probably have probably 85% browns, 15% green. So that's really a lopsided mixture. That's why I really need to get this nitrogen um, into these compost piles and really get that breakdown process um, working. So come springtime, we'll have some nice um, compost soil here that we can um, use in our garden and for our flowers. So uh, I'm gonna do the Friskars first and we'll uh, get that turned and uh, mix up our little potion here and get it on there. So um, I have the um, Fiskar compost 
emptied out and I got about half of it into the bin and I moved it over here. And um, so I'm gonna be pouring in our beer and our uh, soda as well as our ammonia. Uh, but you know, just looking at this pile, the one good thing, it's only been a couple of weeks and I know it's gonna be a slow process because it's you know, 85% browns, 15% green. And that's why we're putting in this, um, uh, uh, the drunken compost um, solution to speed it up. But one thing I noticed in the middle here, which is a very good sign, is that we have some good uh, leaf mold going on. And I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but this, you know, it's kind of turning white, so it's getting some fungus on there. And that's what's gonna feed our pile and get this to start breaking down. So that's a, that's a very good sign uh, that this is happening, even though it's only been a couple of weeks. So uh, let me get this thing all mixed up here. And like I said, I'm gonna double this than what people usually do. So I'm gonna put in, uh, let me get this out of here. Oh, I threw that in there. Um, I'm gonna throw in a couple of uh, cans of beer here. I know some people are going to say it's a good waste of beer, but uh, it's really going to help us. Like I said, this beer has that nice good yeast that's in there and the hops and everything, and that's really going to feed our compost and get that heat up. And remember this cola or this soda or tonic or hop, whatever you want to call it, that's loaded with sugar, and that's really gonna help our, our compost pile and get that heat up. And two cans of beer, two cans of soda. And last but not least, about probably about a, a cup and a half of uh, straight ammonia. And I know I've covered this in some other videos, but a, a good thing to do and, and what I do when I'm out here working in the yard and you know, I'm drinking a lot of coffee, a lot of um, water. Anytime I have to urinate, I go right over my compost pile and I just urinate on it. That's a good straight shot of nice nitrogen that's really gonna help break down your compost pile. So I got this all mixed up. And I'm going to dump this on there, and then uh, I'm also going to put a little rainwater on, on the top once I finish, because um, I collected a bunch of rainwater. We've gotten a whole bunch of rain um, here the last couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully the next week or so, I'll be able to mow out front, and I'll be able to put some uh, more greens in here uh, from when I uh, get the lawn mowed. But we've got to wait for the rain to stop. It's been raining here like crazy, like I have said. So uh, let this, let's get this poured on there, and uh, then I'll fill this up. Uh, with the rest and I'll do this again. Okay, so um, wrapping up, um, I've got everything turned and um, uh, the Fiskar, the deformer, as well as a tumbler. Uh, the tumbler, of course, I just had to pour in the um, drunken compost mixture and just spin around a few times, so that was uh, easy enough. And I tell you, these were very easy to turn, um, the deformer as well as the uh, Fiskar, because all I had to do was just lift that thing off, came off easily and dump it back in, so it really didn't take all that long. Um, the one thing I noticed when I was um, pulling off the deformer, I had a couple of moles that came flying out the bottom, and there are some mole trails around here, but so I guess they've been kind of keeping warm in the bottom there with this cold weather, but that's okay. They're in there, and they're, they're moving stuff around for us, so that's just part of nature, um, so uh, that's fine. So um, um, all I gotta do now, I gotta go back and do uh, the two pallet bin uh, composts, turn those and add this uh, drunken compost mixture into there um, as well. I won't videotape any of that because it looks like it's gonna rain. It's kind of clearing up, but there's some dark clouds coming. So uh, I wanna get that done before the rain hits again. And um, so hopefully next week, things dry out. I'll be able to get the lawn mowed. I may even have to go down to my son's house and mow his lawn. I'll get some nice greens that I can um, add in here also. And that's really what this needs. Um, so I guess I will sign off from here. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching, and if you're not a subscriber, please stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, and uh, so you can keep track of um, how these compost bins uh, are going. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. We're getting some good views and getting some good comments, and we're picking up some uh, subscribers. 
So um, we will check in on these in a couple weeks and see how this drunken compost helps our compost piles and helps everything uh, breaking down. So I guess I'll sign off from here. Remember, we are on Instagram. It's the.stupid.gardener. Um, you can uh, follow along there. I'll be posting some pictures probably more in the springtime when we start uh, doing our uh, garden and getting that ready. Um, but uh, I guess I will see you on the next one. This is Tip from The Stupid Gardener. Everyone take care. God bless everybody.